uh, today, European Commission adopted our AI continent action plan. Uh, you should have the communication. It was just uh, published. And uh, this is our roadmap, how we will facilitate and support the investments and innovations on AI in, in Europe. And we are building to our own strengths. We are very strong when we look at Europe, when we look at our scientific community and the researchers on AI. We have the biggest amount of researchers in the world per capita when we look at um, AI sector. And also we have thousands of startups who are working on AI and they are developing frontier models and applications to our industry and to our, our public sector. So we have very much strengths when we look at AI. And in this uh, AI action plan, AI continent action plan, we have five pillars to where we are now focusing our efforts. First one is about infrastructure. Here we have already started our actions. We are investing to our supercomputers in the European Union. We are building AI factories. We already made decisions on uh, December, on the first uh, seven AI factories, and now later on spring uh, uh, on uh, six next one. So totally we have now 13 AI factories built in the European Union. And it means that we will have much more computing capacity in this year time than we have now. And then we are also able to open up this computing capacity for our startups and for our researchers to, de to de develop and train AI. Because this is something what they are lacking now. They don't have access to computing capacity. But we also we have also upgraded our ambition here, like President von der Leyen was announcing in uh, Paris AI Summit, we want to also build up giga factories in the European Union. And these are very powerful supercomputers. Today we will open a call for interest for our stakeholders, for member states and for private investors on these giga factories. And then we will look um, how much interest there is. We know that there is already in many member states interest to build uh, gigafactories also in the coming years. So we will open the call for interest today for that. An important part of our infrastructure is also to build more uh, cloud and AI development capacity to European Union. Later on this year, we will uh, propose our uh, Cloud and AI Development Act. Today, we will also open a public consultation on that. But our aim is to build a very sustainable uh, cloud and data infrastructure to European Union. Uh, we are aiming to have three times more data center capacity in the coming years with, than we we have today, and we want to use the best technologies available to be sure that we can have very energy efficient uh, uh, data centers and cloud capacity in the European Union. So this is the infrastructure, infrastructure part. We are also focusing very much now to data because it's super important that our AI developers, our researchers, startups, and they have access to high quality data also to train and develop AI. And we are going to bring together around these AI factories uh, data labs and uh, now we are working with the data strategy also to make sure that we have interoperability of the data and we can also provide very high quality data sets for researchers and uh, startups in this sector. Third part of this strategy is uh, apply AI so strategy and we want to make sure that our industries and our public sector that they are able to also uptake AI. Now we know that only around uh, approximately uh, 13 percent of our industries in Europe are using AI and of course we want to encourage now different sectors also to uptake AI. We will start also uh, sectoral dialogues with different sectors how we can support their efforts here. We have very strong sectors as you know automotive sector, energy, pharma, public sector, healthcare there, uh, where we have huge opportunities for AI. And we want to support all the actions to also apply AI there. Later on this year, we will have our apply AI strategy. Today, we are opening also public consultation on that to identify also what kind of obstacles there is on different industries and sectors and in public sector also that why they are not using AI now and how we could support these efforts. Fourth pillar of our action plan is the talent part. 
very important that we are investing in skills in the European Union. We are taking care that our citizens, they have AI literacy, but in the same time that the European Union is also an attractive place for talented people all over the world to come and start their businesses here and work with AI, and we will also launch AI uh, academies in, uh, in April uh, to make sure that we have also very high quality of education when it comes to AI, and we are also bringing these academies together with our AI factories. So the idea of AI factories is very much to pull together our computing capacity, data, high quality data, and the talented people and uh, researchers and uh, startups in this field. And the four, uh, fifth pillar of this AI continent action plan is about simplification, something what is very important for the Commission as a whole to boost investments and innovations in the European Union and when it comes to AI we are also looking how we can simplify the processes of our SM, for our SMEs, for our public sector to apply AI we are going through so called uh, fitness check on our digital rules currently and uh, later this year we will also propose our simplification package when it comes to uh, digital rules but at the same time we are now implementing our AI Act, and uh, we are working with the code of practice, what is mentioned to be really guidelines for our SMEs and for our industries, how to comply uh, with AI Act. And uh, also we will open so-called service desk for our SMEs to our AI office to really support and help them when they are thinking that how to comply with the uh, AI Act and what kind of questions they have, for example, uh, about our, our rules. So we are doing our best efforts to support our SMEs our industry, our public sector to uptake uh, AI. We will uh, continue to work today with our AI factories, so we have invited all the representatives of our AI factories and also the SMEs who are working uh, with AI uh, to Brussels today to a meeting to uh, also uh, plan next steps together with them. And personally, I will also start the AI factory tour when I will visit all our AI factories during this year and discuss with the community there how we can support and boost the investments and innovations in this very crucial area.